I have to say though that this Jesus Christ. Oh. It, it, <laughs> Shoot, so, shooting behind the no, barrels. No, 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 that's all fine. And then the kiss, and then she goes and whatever. Oh, I and love all this. Make it as melodramatic. All... It's like a war it, movie. It no. is really. Yeah, but they've set up Eddington as this man who wants to be this incredible hero. Like, and then he that, gets what... to be. Yeah. He but... gets the ending that he wanted. Jesus Christ, he's about to say, no, leave me, I'll only slow you down. <laughs> Nathan, <laughs> he has been practicing on. these cliches his entire <laughs> life. He's it got them was. all on standby. <laughs> so you know, I'll only slow you down. Get Rebecca to safety. Itself. <laughs> <laughs> Name is... of some of those simulations then. One was yes. called one was called cause and effect. They're usually actual episode titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. But there's other ones like there's uh, like carbon-based life forms and stuff like that. But there's all references to from like they're Q just to Q. <laughs> from Q to Q. <laughs> <It's> so great. <laughs> oh look, that was called Caretaker. Oh no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> evolution chain of command hero yeah. worship oh my god <laughs> i mean talk about on the nose yeah 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 <laughs> there's so many things like this in season seven although i take out the word shitty because i just love anything between <laughs> Wayne and damar when they're bitching at each other it's amazing yeah remember the yeah. bit where he goes so uh, what is it uh my my predecessor Wayun's death in a transporter accident, and he looks at Damar. Straight <laughs> <laughs> it's <fucking> great. <laughs> I so, love how they get Jeffrey Coombs in, they kill him off, and then they decide shit that was a bad idea. Yeah. I know they'll be clones, and then they just lean into it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like they make that part of the thing. I think that's well, genius. And the, you know, the payoff of all of that Wayun and Damar when. Demar defects and he mm. takes out the cloning ship, the cloning percentage. <laughs> and he goes, that, I could be the last way you. That's why he chose that target. It's great. <laughs> it's so great. I always find, what? like, and uh, now, yeah, you know, I talked about Far Beyond the Stars earlier, and that bit with Avery Brooks at the end, that's way hysterical. Mm. I often find that I'm moved when the performance is brought down yeah. with people. And this, you know, I'm I'm very moved because of what she's saying is it's moving, but it is very shouty in a minute. He's like, "Come on, Balana, talk to me." Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, have yeah, you yeah. ever had a conversation like that with your partner? Because I no, never, never, no. <laughs> oh no, I did oh, once. My. I did once with an ex actually at the, at the pier. I was leaving him, like leaving, leaving him, and he's like, "Don't walk away from me." <laughs> <laughs> so I have had one conversation like a soap opera. Is so in the ring. They all move into the ring, yeah. Yeah. and now we can phone up the bridge <laughs> and talk to them for like forty-five seconds. And then when we press the button, one of them Why wanders they out. They got to be in the ring for seven seconds. But it doesn't matter. It's just press the button. <laughs> they go in the fucking <laughs> ring. Why are you doing dialogue? What is going on? Oh my okay. god! I pressed That's... it again, and and I will not press the button again. Okay, it's the it's our third one. What is it? It's Star Trek, the original series. Oh, excellent. It's series three. You Episode one, Spock's brain. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's yes! brilliant. Oh, oh absolutely yes. that. <laughs> but before we do that, oh, it's don't. been a long time getting no. from there to here. I absolutely. <laughs> I now absolutely my here. time is finally here. Uh, do you know what? All right, I, I think it's obscene that the skip intro button is on Netflix, but and you're not allowed one, to touch it. This is the one time <laughs> I'm very pleased it's there. Well, I sing. I sing every time I watch Enterprise, which is not often, but I do sing it, and it is. You know, again, it's. Re projection of what we've done in star trek before with the sort of big orchestral sort of things and what we have instead is this sort of dad core could, you know could kind they of have soft chosen rock. a more <laughs> dull song it's so fucking easy listening <laughs> no no i agree with you i think that they do do act oh look that looks so shit though look at that shot it just looks like a daytime soap opera it's like why the fuck can't we just go outside Nathan, do you know where there are churches this... that you don't have to build out of fiberglass 
outside. <laughs> this is a daytime soap. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So awkward, isn't yeah. it? Because Cisco has been such a blokey shithead. <laughs> and, and like poor little, uh, you know, Rom is kind of sitting there feeling embarrassed. Ah, oh, Esri. On, Esri. Emily's back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just a quick moment for... Um, is it René Aubergeonois? Is that how you say it? Mm, mm. Um, I don't think he can give a bad line reading. And when he said a minute ago, what was it? Look it up, but do it in the stands. You're <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. that man can deliver any dialogue beautifully. <laughs> Securities and all that. <laughs> Look how busy uh, these corridors are. I mean, what what is that man doing feeling the wall at the back? Did you see him? What? <laughs> Look at him just walking through with his shirt draped over his shoulder, showing everyone his stomach. I've got to say though, this is why <laughs> this is why he's so much cooler than Picard. All right, Picard would never <laughs> walk around with his airy white chest out, would he? Come on. Well, do you remember when Picard is it in Starship Mine? No, or I'm, in First Contact, where he gets his shirt off and he's been working out. Captain's Holiday, he's there, draped in this like shawl with he's his chest the... out. The whole oh, oh man, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh now this and when he has floppy hair yeah it, and oh, he's God, a bit that's angry gorgeous. i love this guy the guy who's just in the background tapping on the pad and, and he doesn't get any lines no <laughs> like he's like he's yeah. just he's just doing facial expressions and then he wanders <laughs> off and his one line of dialogue appears to be adr <laughs> so, <laughs> so they didn't have to pay him to say anything look here he goes <laughs> let's not read too much into any of this with Roddenberry no. right? yeah he's a he was a horny old goat <laughs> um yeah so go. these titles are so boring for the last time <laughs> the fabulous <laughs> trumpets of the star trek the next generation theme tune yeah yeah Only really going missed... where no man has gone before <laughs> we missed a trick with the dennis mccarthy theme yeah. <laughs> i wanted that it's it's so so bad. Now. I've only just... but it's really really cool but it, it's, it's hilarious but it adds a little bit of character so what is a mm. really tense moment it, it's it's awesome it's such a strange show well, i have so i have perfect. seen this done in other things you know when you're in the climax and it's like uh you know yeah, yeah, yeah. any second now gentlemen you know. beam me aboard <laughs> <laughs> 20 seconds Nathan. Oh, my god so great. and look the enterprise is going straight into the path of the doomsday machine <laughs> the transporter pad is blowing up all over the place <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah it's, it's all happening so and i'll tell you now that orchestra is going fucking crazy. Yeah. Right oh. Now. Yeah. I think. Excuse me. There's only one actor that's worth talking about in Times Arrow, Mr. Pickett. I need to be talking <laughs> to you. She's, She's great. Wonderful. Do you remember uh, <laughs> what jealous Oberon? Fair is. <laughs> She's great. So good. What's her name? All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> so Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Carmichael. There you go. Mrs. Carmichael. Now here so this moment here where Spock's like, oh, you lovely gentleman. Oh, what a marvelous idea. And they're like, Spock, what's wrong with you? And he's like, I'm so sorry, I was overcome in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a funny line. It is a really funny line. I thought he was hitting on them, but uh, <laughs> he, he does, does well. <laughs> it reminds me of that scene between Garrick and Bashir, you know, where his hand goes on <laughs> his shoulder. Oh, well, yeah. he, uh, here I go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's Sub Rosa. What is it? It is Sub Jesus Rosa. Christ! It is <laughs> Sub Rosa. <laughs> Ronan. Okay. Well, we're done. All right. We'll see you next week for Sub Rosa. No, oh <laughs> I think we have to do it. Oh, we have to do it. It could never come oh up again. What happens if it never comes up again? We how, have to do something. How Rosa. could you possibly say that? And that's what it is. <laughs> of the entire franchise. <laughs> I always guess that it's Sub Rosa. I could have snuck in and like uh, tinkered with the odds? JavaScript and made have it. You've done, no, do, do done that. No, I haven't done that. Is that possible? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah, I can do anything. But it oh, is completely random. God, planet of the Scottish people. Is it Irish? Yeah. Is it Scottish? No, Scottish, Scottish. isn't it? Hey, it's Beverly, Sex Beverly Ghost. Crusher. There's a ghost <laughs> in his house. Yeah, we're going to do that shitty Scottish <laughs> accent for the entire episode as well. It's you a, know, it's the sequence uh, where Beverly Crusher and Troy 
are in those incredible leotards talking oh, about Beverly's Jesus erotic Christ. dreams. It's, oh. it's the most masculine, feminine dialogue you've yeah, ever had in your holy life. Holy crap. It makes my boobs firm up just now <laughs> listening to it. 